Hi my dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss a numerical on maximum torque and full load torque. This is the second numerical. Let's see here, see the question. A three phase 50 heads 10 pole induction motor having Rotor resistance of 4 ohms and x2 of 80 ohms and rotating at full load speed of 450 rpm. Rotating at full load speed of 450 rpm, then find maximum torque to full load torque ratio. Okay, what they asked maximum torque to full load torque ratio, and next to get a maximum torque at full load. To get a maximum torque at full load, how much extra resistance required to add? How much extra resistance we have to add in the rotor to get a maximum torque at full load? Not at starting, sir. This is at full load. Right. Let's see the data. First of all, given data, the given given data of three phase, 50 heads, and 10 pole motor. So, for 50 heads 10 pole, what is synchronous speed? 120 F upon P. So, you will get uh, how much? You will get uh, 600 RPM. How much you will get? Uh, 600 RPM for 10 pole. Right? Got it? Next one. Of course, this is okay. Next, they given R2 is a 4 ohms. And X2 is a 80 ohms. Can you tell me what is SMT now? SMT is equals to R2 upon X2. Nothing but 1 by 20. 1 by 20 nothing but how much percentage? 5 percentage. How much percentage? 5 percentage of SMT. Slip at maximum torque is 5 percent. Yeah, of course. Then the given... Full load rotor speed 450 rpm. If this is 450 rpm, can you tell me what is slip at full load? Slip at full load ns minus nr is a 150 upon ns minus nr upon ns. So, how much, sir? Uh, 1 by 1 out of, tell me, 15 ones are 15. 4s are 60, right? So, 1 out of 4, nothing but 25% of slip at full load. 25% of slip at full load. Right. So, now they are asking that maximum torque to the full load torque ratio. Very tricky question actually. What you know actually the full load torque to the maximum torque ratio to S full load SMT upon full load slip square plus SMT slip square. Actually, you know this one, but they asked in reverse. So, careful. Right, sir. So, what is the, we have to do now? The maximum torque to the full load torque ratio is equals to S full load square plus S empty square upon 2 into S full load and S empty. So, calculate it. Calculate it, sir. S full load square. Nothing but S full load square. Nothing but 5% square. 5% square. 5 by 100 whole square plus 25% square. 25 by 100 whole square. You will go in your own way. No problem. If you take 1 by 20 and 1 by 4, then also you will get the answer. No problem with that. Okay. Next 2 into S full load. Full load nothing but 5%. 5 out of 100. And SMT 25 out of 100. Right. So, I think this is easy. That's why I take it here. If, you, if this is easy, you can take the same. No problem. Okay. So, tell me. T maximum to the T full load is equals to, this is 25, this is 625, 25, 625, 25 plus 625, 650 upon 10,000, because 100 square is the 10,000, 
upon 2 into 5, 10, 10, 25, 250 upon 10,000, because 100 into 100, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 gets cancelled, 0, 0 gets cancelled, so uh, 5, 5, 1's are, 5, 3's are, and 5, 5's are, this is our answer, very simple. So, 13 out of 5, you can written as 2.6. How much it is? 2.6. The full load torque to the maximum torque ratio. Full load, sorry, maximum torque to the full load torque ratio is 2.6. What is this? Maximum torque to the full load torque ratio is 2.6. This is the 5, 2 is a 10, 3, 30, 30, 5, 6 is a 30. This is a, the first question completed, the ratio of maximum torque to the full load torque. Okay. Is this is easy or not? Like a, simply we can cancel. That's why I take it like this. Right, sir. What about next one? To get the maximum torque at full load. So, actually, SMT should be equals to slip at full load then we will get a maximum torque at full load what they given to get maximum torque at full load maximum torque at full load full load at maximum torque nothing but smt should be equal to s full load or s full load should be equal to smt that's it what is smt r2 by x2 R2 upon X2, but we have to add some extra resistance. This value, this total value should be equals to S full load. What is S full load? 5%. 5% nothing but full load, sorry. What is full load, sir? The full load slip is the 25%. 25% nothing but 1 out of 4. 25% nothing but 1 out of 4. So, what is the question? Listen carefully. To get the maximum torque at full load, we have to get the maximum torque at full load itself. So, for that, for that, what I done here, the slip at maximum torque should be equal to slip at full load. What is slip at maximum torque? Actually, 4 by 80. But we have to add some extra resistance. To get a 1 by 4. So, how much we have to get here? How much? Generally, if this is 20, 20 out of 4. 20 out of 4. So, if this should be a 20, what is R? Yeah, R is equals to 16 ohms. If R is equals to 16 ohms, then we will get the same answer. Otherwise, you have to calculate like this. You have to calculate like this. 4 ones are 4 twenties are so 4 plus r is equals to 20 then r is equals to 16 ohms like that also this is the second question